I just want to talk about Kevin and Charlene Taylor. Um, they were a couple that have spent over five years in prison in the Philippines while awaiting, yes, that's it, awaiting their trial. Um, because in the Philippines, what you have is if somebody doesn't turn up, say there's a witness due to turn up today, they don't show up. What happens is they'll go adjourned and it could be another month or so before the case is heard again because you're waiting on the witness. Um, it's very, very common. It's not the first time I've heard this. Um, but this was the case I was talking about before. That I remember back in 2009 um, because there was it, it was on some of the forums and stuff and I tried to get in touch with some people to see if we could help and I know some of the expats had done a bit of a fundraiser etc I don't know it donated some money towards it um, but I just wanted to talk because today it sort of randomly came up because I'm you know I'm fixing the links on Cebu expat and one of the links relates to one of the blogs um, that was set up by Charlene Charlene is obviously Kevin's wife who was explaining what they what was going on, etc. Until she was jailed as well. Um, now, first thing is, there has now been a trial. They've been found guilty um, and given a 12-year sentence. With the 12-year sentence, they're taking into account the first five years, and on top of that, um, on good behaviour for up to a year. Um, they may be released early. Um, now these stories are a bit out of date, the, the dates, because uh, I believe in 2016 now they could actually be released. A few important things here. If you're in the system, like says a case put against you and it's a one against the government, you have to fund your own defence. Um, I'd I'm not sure if the government pay for anybody to do it or not, but if you want a good defence, you're going to have to pay for it. And in this case, Kevin and Charlene have spent everything they've on, they've got. I believe they've sold the house. Everything's gone. Um, Kevin's parents are also bankrupt because of funding the case as well. Um, it's just a real nightmare, and I wanted to show that this is what happens when things really go wrong are they guilty well from the stuff I've seen in my own interpretation I would say probably not but I don't know them that well um, from the stuff Charlene was writing I would get the impression that it seemed to be a couple of workers that were working for them that were basically um, selling services that a were illegal because they weren't licensed to do it but B um, it wasn't the business that was doing it it was the private individuals but what's happened is Kevin and Charlene have been jailed for basically offering bogus jobs to people to go to the UK from the Philippines because uh, they are the business owners so it's a bit, a bit of a nightmare on top of this, the only good bit of evidence that they had for their defence has been lost, conveniently. Um, and the final punch in the gut, should we say. Um, if they continue to fight the case, they are likely to end up doing the 12 years, where if they just take it on the chin and basically just accept that they are guilty, whether they're guilty or not, um, they will be able to get their early parole for good behaviour. Now, you may think, well, that's unfair. The UK has done it to people before. There's people being jailed for murder and stuff in the UK. They've ended up doing the full sentence because they protest their innocence, uh, contest uh, their innocence, um, which ends up with the judicial system and everything not looking kindly on the fact that they know better than you although eventually when they do get proven innocent they've um, there's big court cases in the UK where they've had to pay out millions in compensation it, it's frustrating 
Um, the whole thing just bothers me, which is why I'm sat here at this time of night. It's half past twelve at night, and I come across it, and I thought I'll do an update because I haven't heard anybody say anything for ages. Um, but I am hoping that these guys do get out as soon as they can, and I will say their innocence is only in your mind anyway. The um, if you're not supported by people externally, etc., what's the point of fighting it? Because most people, especially in the expat community, you hear a lot of or the guilt of mentality is often negative. So. What you've got nothing to prove. So personally, I would say just take it on the chin and just go right. I want to get out. I want to move on. Yes, it's not. It's not what the world promotes. You know, in Hollywood, etc. But this, this is real people with real lives. And like I said, I donated towards some money towards them before myself. But I hadn't heard anything for ages, and it was just that today randomly I was fixing Cebu Expat and there was a, a link to one of Charlene's websites that wasn't working. I went to their website, it's frozen, so then I started searching around and managed to find some new information, which is why I just thought I'd update on everybody that's interested, because there's multiple reasons here. One, it shows it can go badly wrong, even if you didn't do it. Um, in this case, from what I've seen, um, it appears to be two employees that are basically stuck the knife in for whatever reason and we're actually the root cause of all this allegedly um, from what I've seen it doesn't mean this is fact because I don't have all the information so I'm not making a judgment based on 100% fact or whatever it's just interpretation of what I've seen um, the other side of this being that these people are hopefully going to be free um, to carry on with their lives um, at the start of next year at some point which I wish them all the best and be nice if actually expats had to be able to whip round to help them out and get started again um, I don't know what their visa status will be I don't know what their setup is because if Charlene hasn't got one for the UK they're, <laughs> they're not going to get any assistance out the embassy they didn't bother at any other, other time did they um, yeah it really bugs me. That's why I'm always hammering the UK embassies um, because they're predominantly trade interested and pretty much nothing else. Um, but enough of a rant. But I just wanted to update people, but also be aware that these things do go wrong. They are real sometimes. Um, they're not just for Hollywood. Some lives do get wrecked. And in the Philippines, once you're in that court, the legal system, it can take years to actually get your case heard. It's nothing to do about being guilty or not. It's to do with the time period. It's like Haiti was the same. A guy that had stole a, been accused of stealing a chicken could spend seven years in prison from, from what I was hearing about the actual court case lens to, to actually get heard. But a drug dealer or murderer with connections could be out that afternoon. Welcome to justice. Alright, thanks for watching.